Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the view. View is a presentation layer that user can see. So basically you can uh, see that this is the view. Okay, it includes the HTML part, the styling part and all the front-end development. View can be connected directly to the route or you can connect it with the controller also. Alright, so let's find the view in our project. So switch to the project and just go to the resources folder and click on views and inside the views folder you can see here welcome.blade.php okay this is the view all right now i am going to uh, change the text inside the welcome view so first i am i am writing here welcome to laravel 7 okay and if I save it and just go to the browser and if I refresh the page you can see here welcome to Laravel 7 okay all right now let's see how we can create a new view for that uh, go to the project and uh, just right click on views folder and then new file and type here the view name let's say view name is user dot blade dot php okay now open this file and here first of all write html uh, 5 boilerplate so type here exclamation sign and press tab button then change the title let's say title is user and inside the body just write here h1 tag and just uh, print a message here user view all right all right now there are two way where you can render it with the controller and uh, we can render it directly with the routings okay so we will see both way firstly we will see through routing so for that switch to the route folder so just go to the route folder and uh, inside route folder uh, just click on web.php file and here just create a new route for the users uh, user view so just write here route get and inside this just pass here the URI and here just uh, write here the callback function and inside callback function just return the view so just write here return view and view name which is user alright okay now save the file and let's check it so go to the browser and just write here the url localhost uh, 8000 slash user press enter you can see here user view okay now let's access the view using controller so for that first of all create controller so go to the command prompt and here just write php artisan make controller and controller name let's say controller name is user controller okay now press enter controller created successfully all right now go to the project and uh, just click on app folder then http controller and you can see here user controller has been created okay so just open it now create a function so just write here public function function name let's say index and here just return the view 
inside the view just write here the view name which is user all right now modify the route so go go to the wave.php file and here just remove this callback function and here just write here controller name which is use uh, user controller okay so just write here user controller and at the rate method name what is the method name index okay so just write here index all right now save the file and let's check, check again so go to the browser and just refresh you can see here user view it is still working all right if you want to pass some data so uh, from controller to view so just go to the controller and uh, here I am just going to create here a variable let's say variable name is name and its a value Jennifer all right now I am going to pass uh, here inside the view so just write here inside the array ename name and its value uh, variable name okay now access this name variable inside the view so just go to the view and <coughs> just print here the name inside the s2 tag so just i'm going to write here hi name for typing the name just write uh, inside the double curly bracket okay so just write here dollar name now save the file and go to the browser and just refresh the page you can see here hi and Jennifer okay hi Jennifer you can also pass uh, the array from the controller and render it on view for creating uh, this just go to the browser and go to the user user controller and just create another variable which is array so just write here let's say user array and inside this user array just pass here the user details okay so just write here name let's say Jennifer is Uh, let's say 25 sex let's say female all right okay okay this is the array not object okay so just write here by arrow sign Hmm, there is a mistake. Just write here array. Okay, now it's correct. Now just pass this array inside the view folder view. So just write here key name user and just pass here the user array. All right. Now access this user array inside the view. So go to the view. Just print here user details. All right. So dollar user and just write here name and just copy this and uh, first of all enclosed uh, enclosed within the php tag yeah, sorry p tag and just copy this line and paste it two times and change here is and here sex all right now save the file and go to the browser and just refresh the page
you can see here user details Jennifer uh, is 25 and sex female okay so in this way you can pass any data from the controller to view easily so that's all about laravel views so thanks for watching this video and if you will still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching